Alright, just a quick little video showing you how I deprime uh, all my cartridges and brass. And I'm gonna try to make this quick. Uh, my camera's about dying on me right now. So, right here I got a 7.62 by 51 NATO blank. And I've already punched it out halfway, but anyways, essentially you just take like a nut or any sort of like a little indentation or hole to put a cartridge over and then just take a pin or you know metallic I don't know like a nail that'll fit inside of the flash holes and if not you can always you know make your own by this one I made by uh, just dremeling the tip a little bit thinner to fit into the flash hole and just put it inside of the cartridge and make sure it is inside of the oops, flash hole. I have to redo that again. There you go. And just take a hammer and pop. It just comes right out. So that's for the boxer primers. Boxers are the easiest ones, as you can see. And it essentially works for any caliber. The hard ones were the Berdan primers. I mean, you can look up the, what the difference on you know Wikipedia or Google. But anyways, and I just actually a few minutes ago figured out how to deprime these without the depriming tool and all that expensive stuff. So what I did is uh took a power drill, drilled out the surface of the cartridge, uh, the primer a little bit. Or about you know like halfway sort of, and took something like a another smaller drill bit or nail and then punch it down a little bit, just just a little bit, and to break the surface of the. I'm not sure if you can see it, but just break the surface of the pri primer. And then you just take a nail, or in my case, I just took this little scissors and you know widen out the hole a little bit and then ply it like a cool bar. And then if you do it right, it'll just come right out. And if you, you know, if everything goes well, your prior the cartridge will be intact along with the anvil, and you're good to reload. Not that I'm gonna reload these, but yeah, just thought it would be cool to let you guys know the cheaper way of doing things. And yeah, I can't guarantee it'll work for you, but if you, you know, practice or maybe practice or try a different method, you might be able to do the same. So there you go. Poor man's way of doing things. So thanks for watching.